Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Producer. Yay! Come here, my dear friends. So today I am going to be filming another highly requested video from all of you guys. I will be giving you guys a tour of my tattoos. So as a disclaimer, I've only started getting tattooed about a year ago and I think I have all together around 20 to 21 tattoos. I've never really counted. I've done my tattoos in three different countries. I started in Korea first. I have two artists in Korea and then I went to Thailand. I have one shop that I usually go to and then I also have another artist here in Singapore and yeah, let me introduce you guys to all of these beautiful arts that I have on my body. So the first tattoo that I will introduce today will have to be this one. So I got this star back in Thailand and then I went back to South Korea and I told my tattoo artist that I really want to fill it up. The purpose was that I wanted to do something so that when I hold a microphone, people can really see something on the wrist and the hand area. The next one is an ornament on the wrist. I was thinking, you know, when I hold my mic, people who is gonna see me sing, they can like literally see this really clearly just in case they don't see this. You can look at this too. I've also recently saw a fan at uh, one of Blackpink's concert and he literally had the same thing as me and he told me that uh, I really inspired him to do it. So yeah, I'm really glad to be able to like inspire someone with these type of arts. I also have a Scorpio tattoo here because I'm born in November. I just love being a Scorpio and I love it that the world knows that I'm a Scorpio so I just want to shout it out even louder just by stamping it on myself. And on this side, I have a matching Scorpio right here just to match the Scorpio tats on this side. Um, I was contemplated whether to place it here or place it between my fingers but then my tattoo artist did warn me that if I get stuff done on my fingers, it fades really fast I also have to get it retouched quite often unlike all the other placement on your body when you meet a lot of new people the first thing that comes up in a conversation is what is your birth sign and so I'll just show them that you know I'm a Scorpio as you can see on my body it's pretty obvious and then I can start like a conversation with them I also have this um, X on my wrist I have these two X's on my wrist um, I also got this on the first visit to the shop in South Korea. The next one is my seven tattoo right here. It's kind of smudged because of the design. A lot of people, when I see them, they always want to try to clean it because they think it's actually smudged. So I always have to explain myself saying it's actually the design, there's no need to try to clean it. And seven tattoo stands for obviously all of my members in CLC. I wanted to have a 7 tattoo on myself to just remind me of the idol journey that I had that you know I've been through that and that was a very good memory for me and because of that journey I'm able to be who I am today and it's something super memorable to me and I don't think I'll ever forget about the whole journey so I just wanted to tattoo it on my body but before I got this I have a small 7 tattoo on my hands this is the 7 tattoo on my hand. I had have this retouched 4 to 5 different times in 2 different countries in Korea and also in Thailand. A bad thing about having hand tats is that because you sweat so much on your palms, your sweat actually will make the ink disappear faster. So if you've never had a finger tattoo before, a lot of you who have it will totally understand what I'm saying because you always need to get it touched up multiple times. In the past six months, I've had all of these touched up three to four times already. So for any of you who wants to get a position on the fingers and hands, I would totally suggest you think twice. And I'm hoping to fill all of my hand tats up before the end of 2023. 
but please don't tell anyone about it because everyone's telling me to stop getting tattoos even my own tattoo artist is telling me to kind of stop next one is a bunch of tats on my hands as you can see a lot of them are super faded already even though i had around three touch-ups with these i have a star right here something random i got from pinterest pinterest also is like a moon uh i got this whole set and then something random here and this Hurts the most Like someone's trying to stab into your bone I don't know why it hurts so much Cause I literally have just a dot I have a dot on my finger But it hurts so bad I think it's the most painful tattoo I've ever got So if you guys are planning to get one right here I tell you if you have low pain tolerance Think twice my dear Think twice The next one will have to be one of my favorite fine line tattoos a lot of you know that I really like butterfly and butterfly has such good meaning uh, It stands for like new beginnings and just fresh start, happiness, luck This position behind my arm was just really nice and clean and when people see it, they, they freaking love it and I loved it so much that I went back to the same tattoo artist of mine in Korea and I told him to do this hummingbird tattoo for me i always wanted a bird on my body they're really small and cute and they feel majestic to me and hummingbird stands for happiness and joy it just always reminds me to always be happy and be joyful with everything in life i have a very weird faded moon a lot of people always ask me if this is a stamp from the clubs but yeah a lot of people always kind of like look at my arm and they're always like did you not shower yesterday i'm like i did and they're like why is this still on there i just got it for fun because i thought it's cute and so i was gonna get it touched up with my tattoo artist but then a lot of my friends said that it's not really nice so they said to just like leave it but i am thinking of getting it touched up again uh next one will have to be the iconic no more sad days I'm the type to be super hella emotional and shit I'm like ISFJ and we're like hella emotional and stuff And also Scorpios are quite emotional too And I was like in this place where I think I was I felt kind of like super sad all the time I got this to kind of remind myself There's so much in life for you to explore And, and you haven't lived life that long yet For you to feel this sad So I just stamped it on me to kind of like remind myself that I'm okay and also it's funny because whenever I go out with people all of like strangers will come up to me and just like touch this and be like oh my god is that no more sad days that's so cute and it always happens when I go out drinking with friends so it's like a really cool it's like something that allows me to bond with strangers because as you guys all know I'm hella introverted this has been helping me to make friends with people next is this Coconut? No, palm tree <laughs> I got this palm tree a couple months ago, I think I know it's such a cliche tattoo because you see a lot of girls in their swimsuit with like palm tree tattoos somewhere on their body You probably see it a lot on this position too because it's like the position where if you wear a bra or if you wear a bikini it's so visible and it's a nice placing I also have this random ass hat This one Why did I get it? I don't know What does it mean? I don't know But I got it anyways Oh, I have a moon hat Right here I have no idea if you guys are seeing this right now or not um, I got it off from Ariana Grande because she has a big ass moon at the back of her ears and it looks gorgeous Like imagine me being on stage and like having my hair up, you know what I mean? And then just like, you know, holding a microphone and then just having a little moon right here It's so cute! I have a lover tat on the back of my neck Also, don't know if you guys are seeing this but I'm just gonna assume that you are seeing this So one of my friends wanted to get this lover tattoo somewhere on his arm I believe But I stole it and I did it first 
I have it placed towards the back of my neck because I don't know, I just don't see the needs of showing it and I think it's cuter because it's at the back of my neck if I don't put my hair up like this, you're never gonna see it and I think it's somewhat very mysterious yet a little bit sexy and a little bit cute I also do feel, personally, I get a lot of these done because I have actually have a complex guys I always thought that I looked like a child so that's why I always try to do concepts that are kind of like badass but not really like I try to be badass everything I do I try to aim it to be like a badass type of vibe because I always thought I looked like a child and I really don't like it so maybe that's why I crave doing tattoos because I kind of want to have all these arts so that people think I'm a badass even though I look like a child yeah the last one I have is I have a cupid tattoo with a butt right here it's so cute it's actually one of my favorite I think it's really really adorable and not a lot of people see it so I think it's just cute like that that it's on the ankle and I just really like the detail on the butt it's just a cupid sitting there with his butt just hanging and yeah i really i really really like it okay guys so that was it for my tattoo tour i hope you guys enjoyed it uh for those of you who are thinking of doing tattoos i do suggest you plan a lot when you're getting something done especially if you have a career that is an artist or like an actor or an actress because you know in a lot of traditional entertainment space getting tattoo done is still not a thing so think carefully about it if you have any other questions about tattoos how to take care of tattoos how to come up with inspo all stuff like that Please leave it down in the comment box down below and I will try my best to answer everything and I will see you guys again next time. Bye guys, have a good day. Love you all. Thank you for watching.